Hey guys, in this episode of Autofocus World on the Track F1, first race of the season out of the gates, Bahrain, it was a spectacular opening. This is how you want to open the season and who can be happier than the Ferrari team? You got a first and second place win. Let's start the show. Charles Leclerc racing masterfully to get the win right at the top of the podium, but right behind him, his teammate Carlos Sainz was able to get that second place spot, one, two spots for Ferrari. We knew that Ferrari would look good coming into this season. We didn't know that they would open up the season grabbing all the points. Let's focus on Charles Leclerc, okay? How did he win? Three ways he won this first opening race. One, faster. Two, straight out, bold and aggressive. And the third reason he won was pure luck. And you gotta have some of that to win championships. You gotta have some of that to win titles. And in this particular case, Leclerc had that. So let's go with the faster. Going into the qualifying, Leclerc had a blazing speed that put him in the pole position right at the front of the pack and basically that means hey i'm fastest i get to be at the front that clean air means better performance on the track not as much as when you're crowded in a pack and you're getting dirty air from the cars in front of you so performance is going to matter when you're faster you got that clean air right out front the other part of being faster is no matter what happened when he continued to get challenged by Max Verstappen, the masterful Max, he was able to come back and pass him, beat him on the pass, inside, outside. He was able to show that he had speed and that Ferrari car was fast as well. So speed mattered, fast mattered in this particular case. The second one, of course, being bold and aggressive. There were times in the race where you just have to take chances. There was times when Max was stopping past Leclerc, but every time he passed, Leclerc was right back on him, challenging him wheel to wheel, inches apart. This was racing at its finest and two young drivers going head to head, showing what they're made of with Leclerc coming out on top. You know what, when you're that fast and you're that aggressive, bad things can happen, accidents can happen. Even without touching anybody, accidents can happen as we saw throughout the race. And yet Leclerc was fearless in that chase for winning this race and it paid off. Of course, preparation also helped, but he was aggressive, he was bold, and he took chances, he rolled the dice. He wasn't irresponsible where he got any penalties or anything like that, no controversy, just a straight win. There was one particular move late in the race, coming down to the last two or three laps where it was him and Max Verstappen going back and forth, but he had a move on the inside, outside. He was behind Verstappen and he took the lead on a fabulous move, nice move. And the last is luck. Hey, you know what? Luck matters. When you look at Carlos Sainz in the position of third behind Max Verstappen, Verstappen had bad luck. His car jammed up, he was having steering problems throughout, he was having braking problems, and yet he was still competitive enough to be in second place and challenge for the win. But when his car went out of order, his car died and cut, kaputs. That's when Carlos Sainz, right there in third place, was able to grab that second place position and therefore get on the podium for the first, second place. And of course, Lewis Hamilton got lucky because he was in position fourth place and with with Max Verstappen going off the track where they did not finish well then you had your three you had Leclerc winning Carlos Sainz second place and of course Sir Lewis Hamilton grabbing that third place position and the points that's how Leclerc and Ferrari won this race fast cars good drivers and a little luck all right guys that's it for this episode of Autofocus World on the track covering the first opening race of the F1 season. Let's see how it goes for the rest of the season. Stay in touch, follow us on all the social media. If you have questions and you're new to F1 or new to NASCAR or racing as a fan and you're really getting a charge out of all the thrills and excitement and pageantry that goes with this and the crashes, then be sure to stay in touch. See you next time.